I think some things that we can do to worship God in our daily life is uh, just really embody this act of servant leadership that can portray itself in many ways um, through you know creating creating environments of hospitality where people can feel comfortable and feel like they can be themselves and just experience God you know fully in that context. Um, I think acts of service and just going before people and uh, doing doing tasks. Colossians 3.23 uh, talks about doing everything heartily before the Lord um, for Him. And that, that's an inspiring verse to me. In my daily life, I try to worship God through seeing the needs of others. I try to stay in tune with, uh, with people and how they feel. And, and I will go and I'll try to meet a need if I see somebody at the store and I feel, you know, uh, I, need to, I need to give them something. I will reach in my pocket and I will literally go and I'll give them something. Or, and this is not to, to toot my own horn or to brag, but there have been occasions where there's someone behind me in line and it's really easy now to pay for something. So as soon as my checkout goes at the grocery store, I double click my watch and, and hit, that, um, hit that scanner and it'll for the next person's thing. We can worship God in our daily life by acts of kindness through praying for others, praying to Him for things that we need. He likes to hear things that we need as well. Being there for a friend who's sick. It's not what you do. It's where the thought comes from or the, or the action. If it comes from the heart that you're doing it for God, for others, to help show a heart of love, then, then it's worship to Him. I think one of the ways that I can worship God in my daily life is simply by loving God and loving others. Um, the loving God part's easy because there's only one God to love. He's the only one worthy of, of my worship. The loving others is pretty easy too because first and foremost, it begins with my family. Um, he's given me my bride to have and to hold, to love, honor, and cherish for the rest of our lives. And he's also given me beautiful children and grandchildren to, to love and to bless the way that he loves and blesses me. I love to think about how we can worship God through everything. It literally says it in the Bible, no matter what you do. So I don't think that's lying to us or misleading us that it says whatever you do, you can worship in doing that. I'm fired up about the fact that because God is creator, no matter what you do, no matter what your hobbies are, no matter what your job is, no matter what your life circumstances look like, if it's gardening or studying, you know, color theory or astrophysics, <laughs> uh, if you're studying things, if you're taking care of your kids, if you're loving your husband, if you're being a good employee, like no matter what you do, you can draw the line back to God and worship Him through what you're doing. My mom taught me that like in a very simple way, when we would get a good parking spot at the grocery store, she would just say, thank you, God. Like, thank you so much. And it was like a genuine conversation. It was a genuine prayer that no matter what was happening in life, she would just say these short little, almost text message prayers to God. Uh, that was such a great example to me of how you worship God in all of your life and no matter what you're doing.